ATS routes are defined as routes that are designated for channeling the flow of air traffic as necessary for the provision of air traffic services. An air traffic service route is any predetermined flight path that allows aeroplanes to fly from point to point. They include airways, upper air routes, standard departure and arrival routes, low-level helicopter routes. When a route is established, a protected area all along it is set up and safe spacing between adjacent routes is established. Airways are normally 10 nautical miles wide, but in areas where that may be navigationally difficult to achieve, they may be 20 nautical miles wide. In the UIR, the whole area is protected airspace, so airways do not exist and navigation is by way of upper routes. The method by which aeroplanes arrive and depart at aerodromes are known as Standard Instrument Departures, SIDS, and Standard Instrument Arrivals, STARS, and these routes are also ATS routes. ATS routes are identified by their own designators. The purpose of this system of designators for ATS routes and RNP types is to allow both pilots and ATS to make unambiguous reference to any ATS route without the need to resort to the use of geographical coordinates or other means to describe it, to relate an ATS route to a particular vertical structure of the airspace, to indicate a required level of navigational performance accuracy, the designators themselves must be capable of identifying a route uniquely, avoiding redundancy, being used by both ground and airborne automated systems, allowing the utmost brevity, and expanding to allow for future requirements and or change. The ATS route designators shall consist of one prefix and one additional letter. A maximum of six characters, but normally five, is approved, and the basic designator shall be one letter and one number from 1 to 999. Route designator letters are illustrated here. A, B, G and R for routes which form part of the regional networks of ATS routes, L, M, N and P for area navigation routes which form part of the regional network of ATS routes, H, J, V and W for routes which do not form part of the regional network of ATS routes and are not area navigation routes, Q, T, Y and Z for area navigation routes which do not form part of the regional network of ATS routes. Supplementary prefixes are applied to some routes to indicate specific types of use. K to indicate a helicopter low-level route, U to indicate a route or portion thereof established in upper airspace, and S to indicate a route used for supersonic flight. Supplementary suffixes are used to indicate the type of service provided or the turn performance required on the route in question in accordance with the following. For RNP1 routes at or above flight level 200, the letter Y indicates that all turns made on that route between 30 and 90 degrees shall be made within the allowable RNP tolerance of a tangential arc between the straight leg segments defined by a radius of 22.5 nautical miles. For RNP1 routes at or below flight level 190, the letter Z indicates that all turns on the route between 30 and 90 degrees shall be made within the allowable RNP tolerance of a tangential arc between the straight leg segments defined by a radius of 15 nautical miles. The letter F will indicate that on that route or portion thereof only an advisory service will be provided. The letter G will indicate that on the route or portion thereof only a flight information service will be provided. States are often required to specify and publish minimum flight altitudes, MFA, for aeroplanes flying ATS routes over that state. The minimum flight altitudes determined shall provide minimum clearance above the controlling obstacle located within the area concerned. 
Where the lowest level of an airway is specified, it is to be no lower than the MFA.